Hi everyone, Mr. K here. Uh, I'm trying to bang out a quick video. I was supposed to do it over the weekend and VHS kids are going to be here in like 15-20 minutes. So hopefully I can do this in one quick take and that'll be it. So this is uh, the same project I had just before which is my attack animations and but like promised I'm going to do the melee attack. Now melee attacks are kind of different because you have to deal with the fact that you're not shooting something. When you're shooting something, you just make a new object, the object flies out, and whenever your enemy whenever your enemy collides with that object, they ca take damage or die or whatever it is. But when you're doing a melee attack with a sword or a hammer or punching or whatever it may be, it's a bit different because nothing's actually flying out of you. You stay with just yourself, and you can't make your entire avatar be deadly because what if you're punching somebody and somebody runs in behind you well if we just made your entire object cause damage your entire avatar object cause damage that wouldn't make any sense you're punching forward and somebody runs in behind you they shouldn't take damage that should hurt you so we're going to use the same kind of idea behind um, bullets and the fact that we're going to create a brand new object and that object will be the only thing that causes damage but it's going to have to be masked so that it looks just like us attacking except it's going to be this little hidden thing that does all the damage so i'm doing this without a script because like i said i'm trying to do this real quick and hopefully i don't screw it up too much so um like i said before we got the same exact game as we had before we have all our animations set up but what we need to take we what we need to take care of is we need to take care of the fact that we don't have anything that actually does damage so what I'd like to do is just show you our attack again. So, oh, I did put an enemy in here so we can take a look and see um, when we attack. But anyway, this is my attack animation. So, if you can see the sword, I don't know if my cursor's showing up here. Let me get this up here more. My s attack animation is a sword sticking out. I would ideally like the attack to register here, right at this point. Okay? So, we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take our attack animation and we're actually going to duplicate it. Because this one's just going to be for show. But I want to have a new one in here. And this new one, this one, is going to take care of... Whoops, did I do it? I might be paying attention to what I click on anymore. I did. SPR, and we'll call this Sword Hit. And it's got all the same properties. It's got the same origin. It's got the same sub-images. Okay. Same exact thing, and we're going to leave that there for now. I'm going to create myself a new object to go along with it. This is going to be OBJ Sword Hit, and it's going to take our Sword Hit Sprite as its object. Okay, And the idea here is to have this invisible, but when this sprite collides with the enemy, we're going to bump the score up by one. That's the general gist, okay? We're going to have one animation that just takes care of one sprite, I should say. One sprite that just takes care of the visuals while there's another object with another sprite that takes care of the actual collisions and the hits. But if you notice, both these are identical, the same, so there's really no point to this. This is the sword hit, and if any part of this hits the enemy, well, then it's going to count. Well, we don't really want that, so we're going to go in. We're going to edit our sprite a bit here. Now I got three, zero, one, and two, three sub images in here, and what I want to do with all of these is I want to get rid of all the stuff that doesn't actually cause an attack. So, 255. Eraser, sorry, just checking things here. This is the hardness of the eraser. I want to get rid of everything in here because in this frame, I don't want any of it to register an attack. So I'm getting getting rid of all of it. Same thing with this last one. This is not an attack. This is just him finishing it off. I don't want that to register. Here is a little bit different. I'm going to zoom in. I want this sword to register as an attack. None of this other stuff. So I'm going to get rid of all of this. Why did that just happen? I think the scroll wheel is going on my mouse. So I'm going get to rid, get rid of just everything, shrink it down a little bit so I get a little bit more control. Don't want the hilt to do it. There we go. Perfect. 
Okay, so now I got three images, only one of which has the actual attack on it. Uh, you might be wondering why the heck did I do this? Um, this is not going to show up anyway. It's invisible. Well, the reason is the mask. There is my mask. What it does, what Game Maker does, is based on the actual sprite itself. What's there? It creates a mask for your character. Now that looks a little bit bigger than my actual sword, so I got a feeling I screwed something up here. Uh, let's see. Just trying to erase around this a little bit, hoping I get everything. Um, I'm not going to spend much more, more time on that. You guys can on your own. There we go. Got it. It must have been a spray pixel or, or a straight pixel I missed. Anyway, that's the actual mask that Game Maker was going to create based on my sprite. So now when this object is generated, when this object collides with an enemy, it's only going to be looking in this specific area. So we're one step closer. The only issue is, is the way Game Maker works with sprites is that I am on sub-image 0 and the mask is there. I'm on sub-image 1, the mask is, well, it's supposed to be there. And I'm on sub-image 2 and it's still there. I don't want it there for sub-image 1, or I'm sorry, 0 and 2. Now I got two options here. Quick and easy way, hit precise, and now it only shows up there. The issue with precise collision checking is, based on what I've read, is that you shouldn't be using it unless you absolutely need to. And we don't need to in this case, but it is definitely easiest to do this. The reason being is when you do precise collision checking, you have to do it on a, it, the Game Maker engine has to do it on a pixel by pixel basis. So it checks each pixel. If you use a shape, then Game Maker only has to choose a shape. It picks some coordinates out and it checks inside those coordinates. With, preci uh, with precision checking, it's, uh, it's a little bit more intensive. We're making light enough games we can probably get away with it, but if you want to do best practice, which is what I'm going to do, um, we're going to avoid that. We're going to stick with the rectangle. And what we'll do is we will make sure that we are only on sub-image 1 when the hit actually happens. And let me show you what I mean. So we'll leave it at rectangle. My mask is good, except for the fact it's on 0 and 2. And let's go to our enemy. Or not our enemy, sorry, our sword hit. So object enemy, execute a piece of code, score equals plus 1. I want to change this just a bit. And I'm going to put in front of this, if image index equals 1, then do this. So the hit will and should only register when the image index is 1. Now, image index refers to the sub-images, so if image index equals 1, then go ahead and register the score. Okay, uh, I'm going to do a couple more cleanup things here. Um, when the animation ends for this, I want to destroy the instance. I'm going to be lazy and just use these. And I also need to create the object itself. So I need to go into my avatar, my attack animation, or my attacking, press Z key. Uh, I'll just add on the bottom of this. Um, put it right in this same block. Uh, with instance create, and we're going to put it in the same exact spot as where we are, because we don't want it shifting over at all. OBJ sword hit. Now I used with because I need to do something to this to make sure, I, well I need to make sure that the swing is facing the right way. By default it's always going to be facing the way it is here, which is to the right. Um, so if I'm attacking to the left, that could be a problem. So we're going to set the image, oops, oh I was right the first time. It is early. I really should have done this with the script. Image X scale we're going to set to be the same exact thing as our OBJ. Yes. Avatar. X scale. So this way, um, whatever way I'm facing, uh, my sword hit will also go in the same exact direction. Okay, so that's that. Oh, I'm going to do one more thing just so we know that. Um, what am I looking for? Drawing. Draw a GUI. And in here, we're going to draw our score. Draw our text. 5, 5. Oops. String score. Wow, this is not going well today. 
I wouldn't be surprised if I just throw this whole video out and record it later. Okay, so our score will now show up in the top left hand corner. We'll register every time we make a hit. And assuming I did everything right, which I probably didn't, this should work. Let's see. All right, move you a little bit up here. Okay, there's my score. So I'm attacking, nothing's happening, and it looks exactly the same as it did before. So let's see. One, two, three, four. All right. So it's hitting. See how the tip of the sword is just hitting the enemy, and my score is going up. And now, even though I'm on top of the enemy and I'm hitting attack, the score is not going up. I'll just make sure it works to the left. I'm missing, just missing. There it is, going up. Oh, I forgot about this. This, if you can't guess, something's happening with this. It's just with jumping. If you haven't figured it out, it's the fact that I create this sprite exactly where I'm, where the where my object is, where my player is when I hit the Z key. So that means if I'm in the middle of a jump and I'm falling, that means the my player falls, but my swing doesn't fall. Luckily, that's a quick hit. I forgot about that. Sorry. We're gonna do a quick step event and control x equals obj avatar dot x and same thing here so basically I'm just making sure that this sprite follows my other sprite no matter what and that should take care of it so we'll try one more time everything else still looks good we're attacking let's see if I can jump and attack now Uh, let me do something real quick. Sorry about this, everyone. Edit sprite. Trash this one. And let's just make this really tall. Fill it in. Run it one more time. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. While I do this, I should remind you that um, it, YouTube does HTML5, which means you can watch videos at 1.5 or twice the speed it normally runs. So if you're getting bored by this, turn the speed up or skip ahead. Sorry. Oh, I didn't fix it. This whole thing has been for a waste. Oh. So. I'm not sure what's happening here. So, the question is, am I going to just delete this entire thing, or... I don't know. What is going on here? What if I make this visible? I'm kind of curious to see if I can see it stay up there. A hit should be registering. I don't know why it's not. I saw it. It's sticking out up there. So obviously I might have to just trash this thing or cut out the end, but what's happening is I'm just I'm creating it. It's not following me. I have no idea why it's not. Um I'm gonna try one quick thing here. I'm going to change this to a begin step let's try that out I'll try beginner end no luck this is just the Hail Mary here better? It's tough to tell. 
if you're still watching at this point, I give you a lot of credit because I'm trying to figure out something that I should have done beforehand. So it's not working. I have no idea why. So I have to trash this entire video because I showed you how to do attacks, but jump attacks don't work. What a wonderful waste of time this has been.